Hi guys, back again. Uh, the purpose of this video uh, was just to run through some basic tips for running a Prost Christmas sale. Um, now that Christmas is fast coming up, um, after Christmas Day, obviously Boxing Day to January the 1st, is still a peak selling time for, uh, for merchandise. Stores are still very busy, so the opportunity is there for you to not only sell acquisition of Christmas stock, but also look to clear some products that you've got in your inventory that might be hanging around. The last thing we want to do is have old stock going out the back and being bought back out next year. Um, ties up your cash flow, clutters up your back room, just doesn't make very good business sense. So a couple of things uh, to uh, think about and remember when running a, uh, a post-Christmas sale are, one, do you have room? Have you got enough room at the front of your store to be able to allocate some space for some trestle tables, some dump bins, some signage to be able to run a successful promotion? Or are you in a position where you might be able to do an outpost in the centre? If you can get the, uh, the right rates from your landlord, it might be worth looking at. So a couple of things. When it comes to merchandising, first of all, if you need some help, some tips on how to set it up, remember we've got Jennifer here who can help you over the phone or via email on some basic tips for visual merchandising. Okay? So, first tip, create a power display, either in the store or out in a, uh, in a mall. Um, make a story, um, use collateral, all that type of thing, and create a, a real atmosphere around it. Same applies when you're doing a promotion in store. Okay? Don't have it looking like a $2 shop. Um, it can get very cluttered, very, very hard to sell. Uh, be prepared to mark your product down to move. Okay, I've put together a number of in-store marketing collateral posters which you're going to see during this presentation. Um, use these. These are available on the website for you to print out, put them in ticket frames uh, and use them on your display. But be prepared to quit your stock. Um, you know, 5 and 10%, not really what we're looking at doing. It'll cost you more to have it sitting in the back room. Go hard with your products, clear the decks, okay? If you have products that are on the shelf or out the back, reduce them and get rid of them. Be prepared to get rid of them. Any stock that's been sitting on your shelf for sort of 90 plus days and hasn't moved, there's an opportunity to sell this type of product at a reduced margin, but at least you will get rid of it. Create an impact with the posters and the marketing that you're going to see, and look to really cleanse your store. Get rid of it all, okay? So um, finally, uh, what I would say is make sure everything is priced, okay? Little price tickets. You're gonna have a lot of people uh, mingling around your, um, your, your tables. If things aren't priced, it just tr creates traffic. You want people to come in, pick it up, see how much it is, come to the register, pay for it, and move away from the store. That's the name of the game. So make sure it's priced. You will have to allocate some staff to make sure that it's merchandised reasonably, at least kept tidy. Otherwise, it will become a bit of a mishmash at the front of your store, okay? So just remember a few, a few tips. If you need help on visual merchandising, please ask. Create a power end or a display um, with some marketing, using the marketing that we've given you. Be prepared to sell the product down. Clear your decks of stock. Um, go to the News Express website if you need any more information. There's help sheets there, okay? Uh, keep it tidy, keep it priced, um, and replenish uh, as quickly as you can to keep it nice and full. December 26th to January 1st, realistically, you've got five or six days to get your decks cleared. Uh, then you move into back to school. So if you need any more information, we've got the new help website, uh, help email address, sorry, help at newsexpress.com. Um, flick us through an email, we'll be happy to give you some, uh, some more information. Otherwise, try those basic tips, keep it simple, and good luck with your post-Christmas sale.